Sometimes we need to manipulate data before exporting. Like we may want to append something or remove something from the data. We may also want to change the order of the columns in the Excel sheet. We can achieve both with two methods provided by Laravel Excel. For changing the order of the columns, we have an interface which we can implement called with mapping. This interface required you to define a method named map which returns array. And this array represents a single row of data. Let's implement this interface and define the method. Now inside, we can define how we want each of our row to be mapped. Now let's go to the browser and see the result. We are facing an error and that's because I'm trying to access a property on an array. So let's fix that and retry it in the browser. And inside the export file, we can now see that each row has only those property that we mapped through. Here we just have one problem that the value of address and phone number column are swapped. So let's fix that and retry again. So that's how map works in general. With this method, we can also define how multiple rows should be mapped. For this, we can define array of arrays where each internal array is a representation of a single row. So let's define three rows and see the output. We can see that every row is showing exactly how we define them to be. Every second row should have the hyphens for phone number and every third row should have hyphens for the address. The other method is called prepare row. For this you don't have to implement any interface and as you might have guessed by the name of it that it is used to prepare the rows for export. This method is called before mapping the data to export file. Even though we can manipulate the data inside the map method, it is better to split each method with their own single responsibility. Right now we can see an error and that is because I'm calling transform a collection method on an array. So instead of this transform method, I will be using for each loop. Let's try now and we can see that we have manipulated the name for each row. Now we know how we can generate reports and how we can manipulate data. So before going further ahead, let's quickly look into how we can store this Excel file on our disk and what methods do we have for exporting.